All right, so let's kick this off, everybody. Right away, kicking it off, we have B Falcon up here in the north, playing as the Bulgarians in purple. And down in the south, we have our boy MGX, the uh, unfortunately winless as of now Super League and tournament player, <laughs> uh, playing as the Britons, which he is very good with. He's been practicing a lot with Britons. Uh, his map is actually really nice. With the exception of the, you know, the little bit of forward here. Uh, very easy to wall. Uh, not a bad map at all. Uh, I've never seen a, a, a snowy golden pit. To be honest. <laughs> it's always been like a, you know, a sandy, deserty area. Uh, and looking at B Falcon's map, it's, it's actually not that bad either. They're both very easy to wall. Uh, better than nothing, I guess, by the way. So much interest for our 3v3. Yeah, dude. Uh, our tea time tournament, I feel, is going to be very good. We have a lot of competitive elos. Uh, so even though your average is 12-13 for your team, there's going to be quite a few teams that are close to the 1200 average. I'm very much looking forward to it. Oh, Shaslong, you got to play some DM at some point, man. So we've seen B Falcon, obviously we've seen MGX. We've seen MGX get swept in both first and second weeks of this tournament. Ramon's definitely looking to put the hurt on him. <laughs> and I know Ramon's here now. Uh, but B Falcon, I believe, is a 2-2 at the moment. Uh, I definitely could be wrong. Uh, this is Division B. The Elos, I believe MGS is sitting around 11.50. Uh, if you'd be kind enough to pop that in the chat, though. Greeting. One and three. Oh, oh. B Falcon is one and three? I thought he won two games. Uh, that being said, I, I did miss one of his weeds. I only caught the other one. Just had a quick talk today. Neo has some... Exam tomorrow after that we train. Nice, dude. No, no, the guy remote is 1-3. <laughs> oh, I know you're looking forward to play MGX, man. <laughs> you're trying to get that 3-3, three, three, that 50% win-loss. Alright, we got a pretty standard build. Especially for Britons. He's house walling. I don't see any walls yet from our B Falcon player. Aren't there already over 16 teams? Uh, yeah, Shus, I think we're actually up to 20 teams. So, considering I had just posted it Friday, that's, that's really not bad. And it's a team game, right? So it's harder to fill a 3v3 than it is to fill a 1v1, because, you know, 1v1s fill, like, nothing. Like, there's just no competition. You could literally fill a 128-player 1v1 tournament in a day. I have to play on... Oh, you have to play A1 this week. Oh, no. The Ready. denied boar. Ready. What's he going to do? Ready. Yay. Oh, he's going to be a nuisance. B Falcon is not happy. Uh, don't you have, like, two, three weeks? Yeah, so we're probably going to get to 32 by the end of this week. And we will max out at 32 teams. It helps having the forecasters. It helps having, you know, fill-ins here and there. Reggie would fill in. Glatis would fill in. Uh, and obviously, Finn's going to be possibly playing some games. So he can't cast all of them. Ah, uh, oh, P-Falcon, man. He's not going to let this board go in. Oh, oh. No! MG, man! MG! Oh, he's already down two villagers. That is so big. And his scout's just sitting here, man. Yeah, B Falcon. I I haven't seen the, the boar laming or boar blocking trick before with B Falcon. I mean, it's also possible he just wasn't there. Now, MJet's going to try and counter. Is he going to lose his scout? 
Don't lose your scout. No. Oh, you lost your scout for nothing. It's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Shouldn't you blot the vill instead of the boar? Uh, I don't know, because that made some pretty good idle time. I mean, ironically, MGS is now in the vill lead, but that's only because B Falcon's going up to, to feudal. Yo, what's up, Poetry King? Yeah, let, let's get the Fs in the chat if it, if somebody's ever made you lose a vill to the blur. MGS is starting to wall. Does he see? Ah, uh, he doesn't see this. So I don't know how he's going to wall right now. Yeah, he's going to wall straight to the edge of the map. Lot the vill if you can probably get the vill today. Yeah. I mean, he could have. I think the issue was... By the time he had gotten in front of the vill, it would have been, you know, under the TC. Chess, <laughs> don't we all? Oh no, he sees this. Yo, he still doesn't have loom. Oh. Yo, B Falcon is just being annoying. Bases, yeah, bases are really good spots. I mean, they're very easy to wall. It looks like both players are starting a wall now. He doesn't even have to wall that, but he is. Then just drop a wall there, and they're both fully ready to turtle. Ready to either FC... What is this? Why does he wall like that? Does He uh, He probably doesn't know how close he is to the edge of the map. <laughs> Poor MG, man. Not his game. FC is real. I mean, yeah, it's... It's a pretty good strat on this map, right? However, I think he can probably get some feudal aggression off. If he doesn't fully wall, but no, he's fully walling. The turtles! The turtles! Let's get that command in the chat, boys. Oh, wait, did I not do it for mine? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I did it for Finn's and Tom's. I didn't do it for mine. <laughs> Ready. But the the taunt is, you know, exclamation mark walls and walls equals no balls, Tom. <laughs> I, I can add it in a, a couple minutes. So MGS is up. We have a market. And do I not see a blacksmith yet? No, I don't see a blacksmith yet. And he's going to go archer range blacksmith and then go up. What? What is this? What is this? He's uh, scouting, man. Losing his scout has crushed it. Uh, interesting. He's housed. MGS is housed, everybody. Is anybody surprised? Is anybody surprised? Let's get these MGS house emotes in here. Oh, hey, Bristlin, How's it going? <clears throat> I do hope you enjoyed your show match with Loom last night. Hope it went well. Oh, he's going to mill the deer. Awesome. A little late on the farms, but it's all good. Loved it. Nice. Uh... No spoilers. <laughs> I am going to watch that VOD back. We were just kind of busy with the 24-hour stream. And the towers are out. Oh, he went double archery range right next to a tower. Oh, <laughs> he's going to be so tilted. Ah. He's going to quick wall behind it. Ah, this map is so easy to wall. I, he definitely should have just went here. But it's all good. He built the mill. He's going to get the deer. Uh, uh, it's it's a doubt tower. It's a doubt tower. Uh, those, those spearmen were such a good touch. Oh no, the tower's up <laughs> with the 1 HP bill. The other gold is pretty safe. Uh, yeah, this this gold's not going to be touched. Uh, the issue will be after he runs out of that, though. 
Yeah, their, their scouts aren't gonna do anything. So for trying to bait. But that tower's going down. Alright, MG. <clears throat> MG needs some wins in the Super League. He's 0 oh, and 4 as far as I know. <laughs> hey, uh, uh Can I call you Pinocchio 3000? Because I don't know how to say your name. <laughs> is Pinocchio okay or is that offensive? Oh, he tried to quick wall the Ville. He tried to save the Ville. Doink. Pointy boys with the doink. Uh, that being said, B Falcon is still a villager ahead. 2,400 gold is for Castle Age? <laughs> no, it, it's true. The, the extra res aren't needed at the moment. But if he doesn't, you know, hold it, he's going to struggle. MGX isn't the typical, you know, grab the middle kind of guy. And that's totally uh, understandable. You don't need the middle until, you know, mid-late castle age. He's sending more vi- oh, nope, just Kate. Is that a hole? That is a hole! Not the best gate. <laughs> He's just gonna pick off the reinforcements. Look at that! He's in! Yeah, I- ah, uh, man. I definitely think the feudal aggression is good for MG because he knows people FC on here and he knows he can be taken advantage of in Castle Age. But I do think he should go to Castle behind this. Uh, his resources aren't quite there. They're not even close. What am I saying? <laughs> He's making archers and he has no food. What? Well, yeah, what is this, MG? What are you doing, man? Raiding party! Uh, he has a defensive tower. I mean, that's that's all he needs right there, really. But that tower can be rushed down. He's going to have a defensive archery range. And he's going to be up to castle in seconds. Uh, MGS is not going to be happy when he sees that. MGS is just nowhere near going up. He might stay feudal. Yeah, Chess. I don't see him going up. <laughs> I mean, he's got 12 on food. If he wants to maintain villager production, it's going to take him a while just to go up. He is sending more reinforcements in. He's got the gold, he just doesn't have the food. Ah, oh, he's about to be hit on the stone, though. MGS, where? What are you doing? There you go. Oh, beautiful. Oh, you're in Castle Age. You can plop three TCs. Well, I'm just going to raid your base. I don't need three TCs. He's <laughs> he's definitely trying not to be housed now. <laughs> he knows we're watching. <laughs> oh, no. Don't fight under the tower. MGS. Skirms are coming out. Uh, I don't see a university yet, so he's not going to have ballistics for a while. Definitely going to be an MGS favorite. And no, they're walled in now. Oh, it takes so many shots to kill those Skirms. It's ridiculous. That whole army's going to die. Did ha uh, et Etrasist, when uh, B Falcon built this gate, that palisade wall wasn't there, so MGS literally just walked right in. Uh, B Falcon just didn't see it at the moment. Now, another defensive tower. I mean, yeah, MGS has the lead, but it's not going to last. He needs to do something when he hits Castle Age. 100%. Up, oh, he's out. Army's still alive. And that base is going to be pretty well defended. As soon as he builds those extra TCs, it's going to be hard for archers to do anything until, you know. How do you turn this on? <laughs> the Cobra cars. <laughs> oh, Cobra cars are OP, man. After this would know. 
But yeah, until Britons get the range, once that gets the three TCs in there, the towers are in there, it'd be pretty impenetrable. Yo, Caper, how's it going, man? Uh, the build difference is currently five, uh, because MJS did a pretty nice raid with the archers. However, B Falcon could easily change that, knowing that he's in Castle Age. He just doesn't have the wood for the other TCs. Is he trying to scout with these walls? Is that what he's doing? Yo, he's got some some fat slob ways here. <laughs> Is there not? Oh, I I don't actually see that that often in one v ones. I don't see many people do that actually. Crossbows in. He's missing some upgrades. I'm sure he'll get them next. Tom Snuffles is aware of what's going on in Super League. MGS gifting more free wins. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's 0-4 now. However, he needs ballistics. B Falcon could literally just run a runner in front of these skirms and destroy those archers. I like the walls. I like the scouting info here. Just not the right placement. I like MGS's position better. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what B Falcon's doing. MGS is about to have his second TC. He's going to have his university. He's going to get his upgrades. B Falcon was in Castle Age so much quicker, and he's just not doing anything with it. I mean, his skirms aren't even fully upgraded. B Falcon, to my knowledge, has played a lot better in the last two weeks. Uh, maybe he's just having an off day. Maybe the first game got to him. If you're just joining, this is the second game of the series. MGS will hop on after and cast the first one with us. He's going full Tom Snuffle strategy. <laughs> ah yes, Castle GG. It is strong. Uh, I definitely think B Falcon should be in a better spot right now. But B Falcon is housed. It's B Falcon's turn. MGS has been housed like three times. And he's not going to be housed for a while. He has so many on stone, though. He's definitely going to castle drop. So if you missed it, B Falcon did go for tower push. Uh, it was just very bad. And I think MGS is going to return the favor with maybe a forward siege workshop, some towers. Does he have the stone? No, he doesn't. Okay. Forward archery range. I would have liked to see Dwarf Shot first, knowing that all the skirms are out. Hey, Odd, how's it going? Yeah, the whole crew's here. Uh, I don't have the fancy schmancy scoreboard because I don't remember the number I'm supposed to copy and paste into it. So forgive me. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll look into it after this game and I'll get it up for you guys. Ah, oh, the Kraposts are out. MG upset in game one? Really? No spoilers. <laughs> this is, to us, this is game one. <laughs> yeah, MGS will hop into... Oh, MGS is housed. Uh, MGS will hop on after this and cast game one with us. I didn't know they were playing today, so I missed it. I had a fully, completely different setup, or lineup today. Uh, but I was very happy to hear that he was playing today. Yeah, this is game two. We haven't seen game one yet, though. <laughs> I got on <laughs> uh, after they had played game one. I didn't know they were playing today. That was uh, just lack of communication. However... I don't see a third TC yet for MG. I think he's just going to keep the pressure with two TCs going. Yeah, odd. <laughs> no. <laughs> no spoilers. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, the way MGS was talking earlier, I kind of have... Oh, no! Oh, the battle booms! Ooh. That's not pretty. However, the counters... No, come on. Come on, MG, get it. 
clutch. I like the trade. I'll take a 1v1. However, the knights are out. Not doing anything. I don't know if he has his upgrades on his knights. I am going to slowly leave the chat now in shame. No. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good, man. I mean, I really think if Falcon just added some more Creepost, or Creepost, he'd be fine. That push wouldn't do anything. Bulgarian Skirms with all upgrades. No, he, he doesn't have all the upgrades. I mean, however, he's picking them off. Oh, no! Oh, that was so big! Oh, man, dude. MG. That's the only issue, right? You can't fight Nets to a Siege Workshop when a Manganel can pop out any minute. Oh, that was clutch for V Falcon there. Definitely clutch. Hey, I have a Nightbot. What do you know? What did he say? Oh, well, that, that, that's poorly edited, but I'll take care of that later. At least it works. Ready. I want to know what the Bulgarian player is going to do next. I definitely don't like keeping the mangonels that close together. <laughs> Knowing my luck, they'd both be one shot. Right now, MGS is just making villagers. He's not making any troops. I think he plans on going up, maybe? I know he doesn't have the the resources just yet. Why, hello there, Liam! How's it going, man? Thanks for the follow. We are casting some MG at Super League. Uh, followed by more Super League Madness. Totally happy to have you around, man. Up oh, now the third TC is out for B Falcon. MG at still chilling on two. MGX is getting his upgrades, he's making some more crossbow, and the skirms are coming to a castle, baby. Yep, you're not pushing that. <laughs> Alright, third TC out for MGX, a counter castle. Ah, see, that I don't like. When you have nothing to back it up, I do not like that. Uh, if I knew you streamed, would have been around way earlier. No, dude, Liam, it's totally fine, man. Uh, you're, you've been like my hero, even though I only talked to you once, because when I first started playing Age of the Empires, you gave me some tips on Discord. So, I'm totally happy to have you here, man. Oh, the battle booms! The knights are out, the knights are going to snipe the mangonel. Maybe? The villagers are going down. Yeah, oh, he's got the numbers. Good job, MG. Oh! MG's clutch! Where was this the first four games of the series, man? Yo, if MG had played like this in all his games, he wouldn't be 0-4 right now. <laughs> oh, that that hurt, though. That castle going up is definitely going to hurt. The Mangonel and the crossbow push. I must have been 1,100 back then. <laughs> well, to be honest, when I had first started playing, I dropped down to 700. So it, it was still appreciated. <laughs> oh. Wow, what is he doing with the crossbows? No, MG. He got you baited. He got you baited. Up. Uh, Up. Uh. Just passing? He's not on patrol? Oh, maybe he is. Doink! I mean, he's only up four bills now, so it... B Falcon being in Castle Age before it didn't really give him much. He's on three TCs now. Up oh, the Connets are out. That's definitely going to be interesting. Expo's giveaway. <laughs> Free wins giveaway is what MGS's logo is. Ah, uh, what's he going to do here? Does he not see that? He he has to see that. Oh, uh, now he does. He's going to creep post rush to the, the TCs. Oh man. Oh, MG sees it though. Uh oh, here comes a Mangonel. He's gonna try and get a bada boom. Oh, not too good. I mean, the castle's doing more at this point. 
Oh, that was bad. Uh, so he has no upgrades on the Conic at all. He's, uh, fighting under a TC with no upgrades, man. Uh, Sheslon, that should work, but you missed a G. Uh, you missed a G right before the M. The defensive castle is up. Pop those villagers in any second now. Would have gotten some more kills. Yeah, I mean, that TC is just a bad spot at the moment. I rank MGX. That should work. How many, how many crossbows does he have in this castle? Almost full. Ah, oh, he's got the longbow coming out now. Okay. Uh, he's almost the imp, which will definitely help him get some trebs out. Let's just do... Oh, there it is. Alright, it did pop up. Nice. He's 1129. I think B Falcon's slightly higher. Nightbot lights you more. <laughs> Uh, to be honest, Shesong, you probably just had a space at the end of it. I've done that a couple of times. Uh, I mean, he can push once he gets these shrubs out. Oh, the petards are coming out. B Falcon making some petards. I haven't seen that in a long time. <laughs> I don't even see that on Arena. And he's about to get in, though. The stone, oh no, the stone walls will help. However, that that's not a stone wall. MG, react. Are you going to try and wall them in? No. No way. There's no way you're going to wall them in. Yeah, nope. Rip. Uh, now B Falcon is 10 bills ahead though. Our boy MG. Ah, oh, the petards. <laughs> one of them hit you gotta send something else in front of them <laughs> but here come the raids raiding party definitely a counter raid too earlier uh, oh, sorry about that I had a message trebs are out Undo no MG knows better than this I mean thankfully it was only two conets but MG knows better to leave Trebs unprotected. And he's repairing the castle. Wait a tick. He's sending pikemen forward to his base. Did I miss something? I think I just missed a fight. What? It definitely is a back and forth game. However... I can't seem to find where all his crossbows went. Like, I feel like I'm T90 blind right now. I think I definitely just missed a fight. Sorry, guys. Oh, the raids, though. Yeah, the Etzbos probably died to the castle here. Oh, they're both in imp. Oh, the raids, man. The raids and the idol. MGX has half his eco idol right now. That's not going to last. If there's knights good over there, that's all dead. However, there's no knights currently. The Connets are there, though. Pikeman <laughs> versus Skirms. It's trash. Who cares? I mean, that really helped B Falcon uh, kind of stabilize a little bit. And that castle's still being annoying. He needs to do something with that treb. Because here comes one from B Falcon. Immediately, as soon as he hit the imp, he went trebs. Oh, MG, man. It's starting to not look good for you, buddy. Is he going to build another TC? Yep. Another TC in the middle. Uh, my phone's blowing up. Sorry, guys. That castle's going down. There's not even any villagers over there. Oh, uh, the one there. Uh, 
Oh, he knows they're there. Titanic flute. <laughs> I mean, B Falcon is holding. And he's keeping the pressure on at the same time. He's got the military numbers. I mean, that's all just going to die. They're just passing. Patrol! Patrol! See, they're going to die because they're Connets. The Connets will just dismount and destroy them. Castle's down. Oh, this is not good for MG, man. This is not good at all. Uh, this is the first time in a long time B Falcons had the score lead. He's keeping the pressure on. He's moving forward. He's got the Trebs. He's got the Mangonel. He's got the Connick. I love Connets. Absolutely love Connets. Uh, I mean. I don't like the odds for this TC. <laughs> I want to know what he's going to hit first with that treb. MG, man! MG! Oh, snipe the treb. He's going to hit the TC. Look how high that goes. What? That just blew up in midair. <laughs> it just hit the ceiling of the game. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that's that's not good. He's got scouts. I mean, like, yeah, like have just raiding, just taking out his skirms, taking out the. Oh man. MG, what are you gonna do? It's turned so quickly for MG. Oh, just melting at this point. And he's got a pretty big boom. He's thirty bills ahead now. He's got the military numbers. He's killing it with... I mean, he's almost popped. He's got Trebs coming forward. And all MG's making is Pites. Why just Pites? Why not some Longbow? Oh, wait. You're out of gold. That sucks. You have a relic right here. You have a relic right here. MG, you need your relics. Go in skirms. <laughs> Oh man, this this castle is going down. Oh rip! I'm sorry. Yeah, that that castle is going down. Skirms versus Pikeman. He's got Mangonel out. He's just putting pressure on on both sides now. Uh, I don't know what MG is gonna do. Yeah, I I definitely think it's it's pretty close to GG for MGX. He's not gonna have the castle. I he doesn't have the stone for another one. He can't make longbow. He can make archers, but he doesn't have the gold. Mm. And all he can do is skirms and pikemen, and that's not gonna help him here. Versus Mangano. Might have had to change the mess, like have to, yeah. I definitely think that was an option. I don't think he was thinking it as Britain's though. Uh, he has one stable. Yeah, he only has one stable. I don't think that was even considered for him. Oh, he's got a counter treb. He's getting the bad of booms. I. I, yeah, to me, that's GG. There it is. Oh, MG, that's man. MG started so strong when he got in that base. He got the raids. He got the Ville lead. He was up the castle late, but he did more with it. Oh, MG, that's man. Here he is in the chat. <laughs> oh, dude, poor guy. Too much food for archers. Yeah, well, he didn't have the gold either way. He had to get the middle. Tom, I swear that song was in my head. What are you doing to me? Flipping mind reader. Yeah, MGX ran out of gold way, way too soon. I mean, it, it, it didn't help him, but also B Falcon went skirms. Yeah, MG, we were still, we were just talking about how, how great that first raid was, when he built the gate here but didn't have that palisade wall and you literally just walked right in that raid put him back so good uh it's just 
the mangonels, the batabooms. Yeah, he got the scorpions out. Uh, I thought it was interesting. B Falcon went petards and just let them all die <laughs> on the way to the castle. Uh, but yeah, once he actually started producing out of all his TCs, there was just, you were like 30 bills behind at 